thank you for this opportunity for me to be able to speak on behalf of my country. Madam Chair, on behalf of my delegation and the people of the Republic of Kenya, I wish to take this opportunity to congratulate you, Madam Chair, on your election as Chair of the Sixth World Telecommunication Policy Forum and for the able stewardship you have demonstrated so far. I also wish to commend the ITU for the great con coordination of this forum and for all its efforts in managing and coordinating the global ICT networks and services. The Republic of Kenya is proud to participate in this forum, which provides member states with an opportunity to share experiences on ongoing policy approaches to foster the development of ICTs in the realization of sustainable development goals. This forum could not have come at a better time, Madam Chair, as the world tries to break loose from the close of the COVID-19 pandemic. Most importantly, it's a moment of introspection over the place of ICTs in alleviating pressing global challenges as well as, as witnessed during this trying period. Kenya is impressed by the Secretary General's draft report for this forum, which we see dovetailing into our broader digital transformation agenda. Indeed, as a fourth industrial revolution beckons us, there is a sense of urgency for all of us gathered here to ensure we do all we can to leverage its transformation, transformative benefits to our societies in particular and humanity in general. But to be able to do so, Madam Chair, we must ensure that our people have the necessary access to diverse services, possess requisite skills, and know how to manipulate ICTs for their own good. Kenya continues to take deliberate steps to ensure its citizens derive value from ICTs so that they lead meaningful lives while solving everyday challenges. We are encouraging diverse investments in ICT infrastructure, engendering the local assembly and manufacturing of devices, strengthening of our payment and logistics infrastructure, as well as growth and adoption of local e-commerce platforms with a global reach. The other priorities for us include ensuring trusted security and certification infrastructure for all electronic communication and transactions, tackling cybersecurity challenges, and leaving no one behind by encouraging gender equality and accessibility to persons with disabilities within the ICT space. Therefore, Madam Chair, as we embrace new frontiers such as the 5G, artificial intelligence, internet of things, big data, OTTs, and many others, we are alive to the fact that these technologies will never make meaning if we do not empower our citizens with the necessary skills and capability to leverage their immense transformative potential. It is no mean task, but if we remain united in purpose and work together, we can create a truly integrated global ICT ecosystem that will, that will drive economies, enrich lives, and close digital gaps in line with the sustainable development goals. Finally, Madam Chair, and your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to take this opportunity to inform you that the government of the Republic of Kenya offers her candidature for re-election to the ITU Council under Region D, and therefore seeks the favorable support of member states during the upcoming ITU Plenty Potentiary Conference scheduled to take place from 26th September to 14th October 2022 in Bucharest, Romania. Let me take this opportunity, Madam Chair, to wish this forum successful deliberations. Thank you very much for your attention.